Hey everyone, today we've got some exciting news in the world of Linux. The Linux kernel 6.10 has officially landed. This release brings all kinds of essential refinements and new features, so let's dive in. Now, every new Linux kernel release features various improvements and additions that make it better than the previous release. While many users might not immediately run the latest kernel, it's a great indicator of how development is progressing. First off, it's worth mentioning that Linux kernel 6.10 is a non-LTS release. It might be included in upcoming distro releases like Ubuntu 24.10 and Fedora 41, but for now, you don't need to worry about that. Let's focus on some key highlights of this release. Let's start with AMD upgrades. Thanks to patches sent out back in May, there's now support for newer AMD GPUs on the RISCV platform. Plus, we have initial perf tool event support for the upcoming AMD Zen 5 processors. This means you'll get more detailed information like L1 L2 cache activity and branch prediction. Developers have also refined the AMD KFD kernel compute driver, used by the ROCM open source software stack, enabling better handling of memory limitations on AMD APUs. Next up, Intel refinements. The Intel P state driver has been improved to consistently update CPU frequency even when Turbo Boost is disabled. There's also support for Adaptive Sync SDP. For networking, there's new support for the PFCP filter with Intel Wired Network Drivers. Intel Blazorl and Fillmore Peak 2 are now supported in the Bluetooth driver, and BZW devices are supported with the Intel IWL Wi-Fi driver. Moving on to storage improvements, Linux kernel 6.10 features safety-focused fixes and improvements for BKHFs with preparatory work for online FSEC functionality. For EROFs, the LZ4 code was improved to work more reliably on large server deployments with many CPU cores. Support for zone write plugging was introduced to substantially increase the performance of zoned storage devices. Rust support on RISCV is another exciting addition. The push to improve Linux kernel's compatibility with the RISCV platform is at an all-time high. This release features support for Rust on this popular architecture. Additionally, there's support for changing the boot image compression with options like LZ4, BZ2, LZO, LZIMA, and Zasti. We also get initial support for the Milk VMARs. To wrap it up, we've got the inclusion of the open source Panthor DRM driver for supporting newer ARM Mali GPUs, and the Qualcomm MSM driver now supports the upcoming Snapdragon X Elite platform. If you're using a rolling release distro like Arch Linux, you'll get this kernel sooner than others. For other distros, you'll have to wait for a major release that might include this version. You can also source the Linux kernel 6.10 tarball from the official website. So, that's a wrap on Linux kernel 6.10. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more updates.